Mr. Sticker Mania again from Louisville, Kentucky and Sticker Kid. How you doing, Sticker Kid? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Got these butcher covers that I peeled last night. This first one took 30 minutes. This trunk slit just came up and it's a perfect peel. The, the cover is kind of rough. It's got seam splits and everything, but this, I don't know why, but the cover just came up there and in uh, 30 minutes, there's only one little touch up down there on that very bottom. And that's the back. As you can see, it was all taped up on the bottom seam. And this is the Oops. trunk slick that came off of that. And then, since I did that so fast, I went on to this next one. And, and it's by the same. The, yeah. By the way, these I peeled. This is from the Gary Hine Estate. And I peeled these, both of these, for Rockaway Records in California. That's where they're being shipped back to. Do you want to hear a fact? What do you think about the butcher cover? Okay, so that one took you 30 minutes. Yes. This, and this little part. That was, that, yeah, the seams put. How long did this, you think this took me? Longer than 30 minutes. Yeah, what's 30 minutes times two? 60. The, what's 60 minutes? Uh, 60 minutes. Is an hour. If you take 60 minutes to make this, it's much more smoother, but if you take 30 minutes, that would be much more worse. No, it came out better. You just don't know how they're stuck, how, how they're glued on. So the second one took me about an hour and there's a few touch-ups on the edges right there but it still came out pretty nice it's got a name uh steven stevens wrote it on the back it must have been his last name and he's wrote it, i don't know 1966 he wrote it on the back and he wrote it on the front and that's a trunk slip that came off You got a word for the butcher cover. What do you call it? It's a secret. No, you told me. All right. And then, can you stick your cake in your hand with this one? No, I want to touch something that I think Be is careful. contagious. It's contagious? Yes, I'm scared of it. It has babies. All right. This one I bought in the um, factory shrink on the internet. And then I peeled it this afternoon. It was... Uh, it was stuck on there pretty good. It took me two hours. The price tag, it was $2.97 in the store to begin with in 1966. And there's only one uh, touch up on that top right corner, but it's beautiful peel and no seam splits on any of the seams. And uh, pretty much a snow white, the original color on the back because it was protected by this factory shrink. And here's the trunk. That's what, where was the trunk slick put it pasted over? Oh. Um, what do you believe <laughs> It was pasted right over there. And how do you tell if there's a butcher cover underneath there? You have good eyesight, so I don't know how. Um, well, you can see Ringo's peanut poking through there. But the trunk slick came off and pretty, uh, pretty much one piece and it's already listed on eBay. Got one more Holy Grail item. Oh, wait a minute. Let's show the record of that there. Can I tell them a fact after this? Yeah. About the butcher cover? Yes. Give me the record too. I'm also scared of wings. This is the original Goldenrod Capitol Records 1966 inner sleeve that was in the butcher cover. Be careful. And this is a Harley Play mono matching East Coast record of yesterday and today that's being sold with this peeled butcher cover. Let me put this back in the sleigh. All right, sticker kid, we got one more Holy Grail. But I have a fact. Let, oh, tell me your fact. But did you know that this, that right there, mm -hmm. It got banned in a couple seconds. Yeah, in about a couple hours, yes. Wait, a couple hours? And they were supposed to destroy them all. So what did they do to save on money? Because they were all getting overtime at the factory. What did they do to save on money instead of destroying all these? What did they do? 
they put this over it. Yeah, and they what they say? They said nobody will even know that's under there, under there, will they? Wait, you spied on them and you witnessed <laughs> them say that? No, I was only uh, 12 years old at the time. Okay, one more. Led Zeppelin 2. Oh, wait, there's another thing called Led, Led Zeppelin 2. Yeah, this is the most powerful rock. Wait, it has superpowers? Yes. Oh, yeah. Give me the record. This is the most powerful rock album, in my opinion, that was ever recorded. And this is the, careful, careful. This is already sold for a lot of money, buddy. I am not careful. I am the math. Wait, that's, that's the Led Zeppelin II, the RLSS from Monarch Records. That means it was pressed in LA from the master tapes. This is the best pressing ever of Led Zeppelin II, the one that has MO on the bottom. It looks Mexican with that. See how it has a small dead wax on the back. That means there was more grooves for the bass sound. And it has RLSS and the dead wax over here too. But there was a couple of YouTube videos. Yes. That looks Mexican with that color. Yes. There were a couple of YouTube uh, streams yesterday and they were all talking about Led Zeppelin too, saying everybody that has an expensive stereo equipment system needs to have the RL Led Zeppelin II because it's such a great um, sounding album that really showcases a nice stereo system. They're out there. You gotta search for them, but that right there, this sold to um, Tom Port of Better Records. You almost hit me in the face with that. I'm sorry. The very first 10 minutes that I posted on eBay today, Tom Port bought it. And that's about all I have to report on my holy grails. What do you have to say, sticker kid? What do you think of the butcher cover? You have a word for it. What you already saying? What would you say about it? Contagious, that's it. All right, thanks a lot from Louisville, Kentucky.